Today, we're looking at a comparison of the ISO performance of the Nikon Z6 II compared to the Nikon Z6 III. Today's video is sponsored in part by Adorama. You can check the links below for products and services from Adorama and support the channel at the same time. We're gonna jump over to Lightroom and let's look at some pictures and determine what that can mean for your photography. Here we are in Lightroom and this is the photo we'll be taking a look at to compare noise from the Z6 III to the Z6 II. And we'll pay some close attention to uh, some of these dark areas, some of this detail here, uh, and some of these out of blur, um, out of focus blur areas in the background. Um, a couple of highlights here. So we've got enough to, to play with as we um, step through this. So this is the, the base image ISO 100 Z6 III. Let's do a quick comparison at ISO 100 just as a baseline. Here we have the Z6 II on the right and the Z6 III on the left, both at ISO 100. And we can um, punch in here, uh, do a quick look. Uh, if you're going to get nitpicky, some of the dark areas here on the Z6 III maybe have a tiny bit more definition than what you see on the Z6 II, but really nitpicking there. Uh, we can move over here to the out of focus areas. And, you know, we can see that there's really no noise here as we would expect. And um, all, everything looks good. So now let's just start stepping up the ISO bit by bit and compare uh, some of the other uh, some of the other ISOs. Now uh, let's do there just isn't much difference in, in the lower ISOs. Let's go to ISO uh, 400. Here we have ISO 400 Z63 on the left, Z62 on the right. Again, punching in to look at some noise here. Uh, you're starting to see just a tiny, tiny bit of, of noise, but we're at 100% magnification here. So uh, in, a, in a standard photo, if you're not zoomed, super zoomed in, you would certainly not see any of that. Uh, detail still looks really fantastic um, at ISO 400. Now, um, a number of folks have said um, saw a couple of videos that there's a dual gain on the ISO at um, ISO 800. So let's jump now to 800 and do a quick comparison between the two uh, the two cameras. Here we are at ISO 800, Z62 on the right, Z63 on the left. Again, we can uh, punch in in a couple of different areas. Uh, detail still looks really, really good at ISO 800. Uh, just good. Very, very happy with um, what I'm seeing here at ISO 800. Um, the, the noise here in the background is just picking up a touch more, but again, uh, unless you're super zoomed in, we're zoomed here at 100, as I said, uh, you're not really gonna notice much. Let's take a look at these highlights over here. Um, again, pretty smooth. Um, not much going on here um, in terms of noise in the background. Um, liking everything that I see. Now, let's jump up a little bit more. I, I can post all these images if you'd like to, to, to see them. Let's jump to... Here we are at ISO 1600, Z62 on the right, Z63 on the left. It's just here. Uh, the noise has picked up just a touch, but again, from a detail perspective, still looking really great. I mean, essentially, I'm just not seeing much of a difference between the Z63 and the Z62 in terms of ISO performance. The detail still looks uh, good and uh, on both cameras. So um, 
that looks great. Let's let's keep going. Let's jump up to 5,000 here. We are at 5,000 ISO, Z62 on the right, Z63 on the left. Again, let's jump in and look at some of this detail. Right now we're starting to see some noise. Uh, is the noise on the Z63 slightly better than the Z62? I think it is. Just, I mean, we're really, really nitpicking here. Uh, but you're starting to see um, maybe just a little bit more on the Z62. Let's go over here to the right. Again, you be the judge, but it uh, seems to be uh, a hair more. If you just, if you, again, you would, you like never see this, but it, but if, if you really want to, if we're really comparing, uh, maybe there's just a touch, uh, a touch more, but um, of noise on the Z6. Three. Uh, let's keep going. Let's jump up now to where are we going to go? Let's go to uh, let's go to 6400. Right, here we are at 6400, and let's jump in here. Again, maybe. A tiny fraction more noise on the Z62 than the Z63 at ISO 6400. Uh, I think uh, the, the, the Z63 um, in some of these darker areas you can see maybe a touch more um, definition uh, than you can on the Z62 in some of these darker areas but again it's so slight. Let's take a look at uh, Again, really, really hard to tell much of a difference. Uh, detail is still, the detail is actually still really, really good here at ISO 6400, uh, which is, I mean, fantastic in terms of um, just thinking about, you know, just how, how far you can push the ISO and still get a really great detail. Um, Personally, I think the detail at 6400 on the Z63 may be a tad better than the Z62, but it's so marginal. Um, but now let's let's really push it. Here we are at 20,000 ISO. Uh, I would say the the images again. If you're doing just a full-on image, uh, you're not going to see any difference, hardly at all. Maybe a little in these background areas. Uh, let's just let's punch in a couple of places. Uh, noise at this level. Um, I think the Z63 I prefer a little better than the Z62 here. Um, if you go into some of this detail, um, I'm seeing better definition on the Z63 than the Z62. The noise has certainly picked up, but I think it's worse. Um, again, not. You're really not going to notice it, but if we're if we're really kind of looking at detail, there's a little more noise on the Z62 than the Z63. Um, I'm actually surprised at some of these results as I'm sitting here looking at these files. Um, I think at 20,000, I'm seeing a little better definition um, in some of these little finer areas than I am on the Z63 than I am on the Z62. Uh, so. You know, I don't know. Let me. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. This actually, to me, seems to go against what I've saw in some other videos. So let's just go a little bit further. Let's jump now to. Let's go to thirty-two thousand. We are at thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand ISO Z six two on the right, Z six three on the left. Uh, let's punch in here. Uh, still seeing uh, some better results on the Z63 than the Z62. Um, I think on the Z63 you're able to push these files just a touch more in terms of um, in terms of sharpening and editing. Um, 
did add a touch of sharpening to um, to the file. So I I think again um, I prefer the Z63 over the Z62 here. The uh, and I, honestly, I don't think I would ever take a picture at ISO 32,000, but uh, here we are, 32,000. Now let's just jump all the way up to um, 51,200. Here we are at ISO 51,200, which is the highest ISO on both cameras uh, with a number, and uh, I've got the Z62 on the right, the Z63 on the left. Let's punch in here. I think, I mean, you beat the judge. I, uh, I'm seeing a little bit of green cast over here on the Z62. Uh, the definition certainly all gone now. Um, just a little more definition. You're seeing some some green fringing here uh, in the in the file. I'm not really seeing that on the Z63. Um, sensor is just doing a fantastic job. The the detail is better. I mean, it's still horrible. <laughs> We're comparing. It's uh, it's slightly better. I don't know that this is much much better over here than over here maybe a maybe a touch more uh, we can come over here and look at these highlights uh, over here this spectral spectral um bokeh over here again the z63 is holding together better it, um, and i'm actually kind of shocked uh most of the most of the videos that i've seen say that the z63 kind of falls apart um, at higher ISOs more than the uh, more than the Z62, but I'm not really seeing that. I'm seeing better color management at the higher ISOs on the Z63 than I am the Z62. Um, if you if you have if you go back and watch the dynamic range video, you'll you'll see that um, at from a dynamic range perspective, at the super high end, the Z62 does better than the Z63. But in in this just purely ISO test, I'm seeing better results on the Z63 than I am the Z62. So I will um, post these images. So if you want to download them, you can. But just so you're aware, uh, in terms of I had to make some adjustments to um, the two files in terms of uh, some white balance to get them to be exactly the same uh, and um, had to adjust the exposure a little bit. The exposure was, I mean, ever so slightly off um, on the Z6 II, so I had to boost it just a touch to get it to be exactly, exactly the same. Uh, but I will, um, I'll post them. So there you go. I, I think the, the Sort of the summary outcome of this test here, um, if we if we just look at, let's just look at the the Z63 now, um, just taking a look at it. The Z63 here's ISO 100, here's ISO 200, ISO 400, ISO 800. ISO 1600, ISO 3200, ISO 5000, ISO 6400. This is fantastic. ISO 8000. ISO 10,000, ISO 12,800. Here things are starting to degrade a bit more. 
Uh, ISO 16,000. ISO 20,000 on the Z63. So uh, I don't know if people want to go. Here's 25,600. So I mean, I could just keep going, but I think we're kind of beyond where I would I would personally want to shoot. But uh, I think from my perspective, uh, the the greatest thing that I see here is at ISO 800 that I would feel really comfortable, super comfortable setting like in an auto ISO situation, my minimum ISO to ISO 800 if I was in a situation where I really needed to keep my fast shutter speeds, um, that a base um, for auto ISO, a, a, a sort of a minimum, uh, a minimum ISO of 800 would, um, would work. So anyway, there you go. That's a, just a quick um, ISO test. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you uh, like these videos, please like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next video.